Previously on Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, Raiders fan astonished a whole bunch of different Pokemon, Grazie evolved into her second form, and Soyruck turned into Staravia. Not only that, we found some guy who was really into honey, and then we went inside a windmill and we were stinky where we saved a stinky father. And we also fought a big ass cat that almost could have completely wiped us out. And now we continue on with the adventure. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me walking and I'm back with another Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke episode. What are we gonna be doing today? We're going to continue moving forward with the adventure, but first we're gonna go check on our tree. Cause I left some money here. No! Are you telling me that it didn't count? Did I wait too long? Man. Man. One day, I'm gonna get the thing inside that tree. Not today, though. So we're gonna continue on the adventure. Continue moving forward and hopefully get to the second gym. Uh, wherever it might be. But let's go forward. Man. So yeah. Some things to talk about. As I talk to this man hidden behind the tree. I'll fight this person. Um, some things to talk about. I should also be training some other Pokemon as well. Because as you remember from the last battle, only really... <laughs> only Grazie and uh, Soul Rock did much. But it's only because they're the highest level Pokemon. And man, even that with that, Soy Rock is still... Um, only barely higher than these guys. First, so first things first, the Diamond and Pearl. Shining Pearl and something Diamond. Uh, none of that matters because we should be correctly called Pokemon Tiny Dawn. Pokemon New Dawn. Because that's all anyone's ever talking about. Uh, it looks great. I look forward to, <laughs> to playing it eventually one day. It is really funny that there are some people who are like, I can't believe it looks like that in the overworld. And it's like... Bitch, do you see? <laughs> do you see how Dawn looks now? Dawn only gets her giant big girl appearance um, randomly. Oh, I caught a Pokemon here already. No, it was by the tower, so this doesn't count towards it. So it's a Buizel. I'm gonna catch this Buizel then. Damn, if only I had the Pokemon that was from there. I don't think I do, so I'm going to. Well, I'm not going to use Wing Attack, because that would kill the Weasel. <gasps> that was close. I'm going to use a Pokeball. I'm pretty sure that they're two different places, so we should be perfectly fine. I was about to Quick Attack and kill it. But we're not doing that today. But yeah, I'm excited for it. I'll play it whenever that comes out, and I'll play that other remake thingy too. That looked cool. So all in all, pretty happy from a Pokemon fan. I've always been a very weird Pokemon fan, in that I just generally like Pokemon. So, there's that. So, Weasel, what should we name? You need a name. So, let's see. Let's look up the- Oh, I know who he should be. We haven't used him yet. Our boy, Jake. Who was the previous Zubat in the last uh, Nuzlocke. Who could not be the Zubat for this one. But Jake- you shall be Buizel. You will be, chances are, our actual water Pokemon that we use. So let me go. I'm actually gonna put you in the party now. Now, is there a reason to keep you in the party? No, not right now. When your time comes, your time will come. Ooh, I forgot about these berries. Let me pick up these Chesto berries. Well, actually, I can do that off screen. So we'll go back to the actual game when I'm done picking these berries. All right, back in the action, back in the saddle. So let's fight this man who obviously Sawyer Rock cannot actually fight because he's not. You know what? I am actually gonna put Jake in the party. The more I think about it, Jake could have been using this time to beat up Geodudes. And instead, all this sweet, sweet beating up Geodudes. <gasps> no, wait, I forgot. Big oof. It's time to put your Rock Smash to the test. 
Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Good thing you guys don't have to see it. In a bold strategy, this Geodude has decided to just polish itself off and defense itself. Does it just not know any attacks? Does it not know tackle? What the hell is going on? Whatever, you're dead now. Oh god, here's another one. Ah, fuck this. It's time to go crazy on them. Okay, so now we're gonna get rid of someone to make room for Jake. Uh, you know, honestly, I think until the time comes where we can get the XP share and I can train my sister without fear of her dying, she'll be off the team. Let's go visit the, the, the dudes in the reserves. We got Jace, we got Kid Fisto, we got Shade, Gavel Sucks, Dom, Jake. So I'll take Jake. Ah, I can't believe we got two Pokemon. Just to be sure, because I'm pretty sure this is what we got from the last. Yeah, Valley Wind Works. Route 205. We're good. In you go, Jake. Alright, let's see what you do now, Jake. This is gonna be your first real test. It's a long way between cities? That sucks. I was hoping for a short path. Apom. We can handle Apom. Oh, a level 14 Apom. Well... Water gun. I believe in you, Jake. You can do this, Jake, I swear. Yeah, some water gun. I just forgot I need to charge my phone. Where, where did my phone go? Yes. Good job, Jake. Wet that monkey. How fucking dare you? Ooh. What the fuck? All right, Jake, you're out. You're at the. You're at the party. I forgot to go fucking heal. I'll go heal after this. Why did that ape palm go so ape on you? Yeah, three damage. This ape palm is the world's strongest ape palm. The world's he's the Goku of ape palms. All right, he's dead. All right, Jake, you got this one for sure. Come on. It's a Bidoof. You got this, bro. I believe in you. Wet that giant beaver. All right, you took a lot from that tackle, not gonna lie, but it's gonna die, so it's okay. Look at it getting defensive when it knows for a fact it's about to completely get washed out by water gun. <laughs> Dead. Hachi Risu, oh shit. And of course, the one time we take out the one goddamn Pokemon. Okay, Jotaro. I think Jotaro can handle this. Because he's got Fury Cutter on his side. Well, I can take a bite or two. Use tiny fury. Never mind. Jotaro, I guess, decided that he just didn't want to hit. Nice. That's bad. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a bit. But thankfully, it's also not doing any damage. The worst it can do actually is bide. Because this gets stronger every time, baby. It's like an Ordo Ordo punch that just won't stop. Fear the fury of Jotaro. Damn! It's okay, Jotaro. You won in the long run. Ooh. One full level up. Nice, not bad. Ooh, hello, ma'am. Cheryl. Sh 
Sure. So me and Cheryl are going to team up and find a new Pokemon. Now, here's the thing I do remember from this part is that um, we have to fight two Pokemon, but I have no idea which one Cheryl's going to end up accidentally killing. So I'll, su I'll try and catch... Oh, thank God, it's both Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot! Oh, flashbacks. Flashbacks to my boy. Uh... Please, for the love of God, Chansey. Go for the same Hoot Hoot as me. Come on. Come on. Yes! I can't believe Chansey just has an egg bomb. That should be illegal. Okay, so... I'm gonna see if throwing just a random premiere ball works. Oh god. I swear to god. You better not. You better not kill this Hoot Hoot. Don't do it, Chansey. Would have been bad. Also, I know exactly who this Hoot Hoot's gonna be named after. Yes. After my boy... Spoot. Do I have enough room to call him Spoot Spoot? I sure do. If you don't know who Spoot is, Spoot is, um, good friend, awesome guy. One moment, because there's someone coming home. Never mind, I got it. Uh, what was I? Yeah, oh, okay, I was talking about Spoot. Yeah, so Spoot, he's one of the dudes over at Fort Misery. He's a real cool guy. Both of them are actually really cool, nice guys, actually. Um, Bunnery! Oh, we missed out on the woman, the big, big thigh having Baneary. <laughs> big thigh having Baneary, aka. Okay, this is the part where if you're a child watching this, don't look up. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good way to train Pokemon. Because you always get healed and you have, and you fight two instead of one. Ghastly. I didn't even know Ghastly's were in this damn forest. Who knew? what happens when you record at night. A bunch of damn ghosts show up. Alright, I think two psychics are up. Looks like I'm right. Alright, let's see what they got. Doesn't matter because I have bite. Shit. Of course it had to be Meta Knight. Good thing is, is I guess it's a standstill. I can't really do anything to them, they can't really do anything to me. I am gonna supersonic the Meta yet, though. Shit. No, wait, I can still die. Oh my god. Raiders fan, you are so unbelievably lucky that Psyduck is a fucking moron. You could have died so easily. Well, with my boy Soy. I mean, my boy, my girl crazy. That could have been so fucking bad. Get out of here. Fine, die to Egg Bomb. You could have gone out to some leaves, but instead you get blown up. Yeah, Crazy's level 20. Goddamn Psychic Odie. Oh no, my Meditate. Damn right, both of y'all lost. All right, it looks like we're out of this forest, finally. Damn right. <gasps> Ooh, Soothe Bell. I know who I'm giving that to. 
Bye bye. We all know who needs the soothe bell the most of all. There you go, buddy. Now when you go Golbat, we get Crobat that much faster. Alright, remember, this is still Route 205. Could ignore these fishermen for the time being. Yeah! Turning a city. So we made it to the next town, and it looks like next time we're going to be actually fighting the gym leader. But for this episode, I think we're going to have to call it. So thanks everyone for joining me once again for another episode of the Dazlock. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, you can leave a like, comment, or subscribe, especially if you made it this far, because I know you like this, if you've made it this far to the end. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. And now it's time to save. This takes a while.